aboard. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Hey guys, it's me, Ho Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's the Emperor's Throne Room from Star Wars The Vintage Collection. I am so happy to have this in hand. This comes direct all the way from the Hasbro Pulse uh, Con. Uh, th th this is Hasbro Pulse Con exclusive and is available as a part of the uh, Hasbro releases that came out last night. So definitely go ahead to the Hasbro Pulse website if you're a Pulse member and grab some of these bad boys. So we have the Return of the Jedi set here. It's the Emperor's Throne Room and features the Emperor, his chair, and a diorama, I believe, or something. Sorry, Superstar Junior's just dropped something. If they're all right. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> right, so let's bust this bad guy out of the packaging and take a closer look. Uh, this is how it was set. <clears throat> so guys, next year for me is going to be the year of Star Wars Vintage, I'm telling you. I am going to be hunting so much Star Wars Vintage stuff down because I want some of the old retro sets. How did we get into this thing? I assumed it was going to push. Oh, it, there's no hole at the bottom. Sorrel think it through. Yeah, I'm gonna hunt down some of the old, some of the old play sets because, like, you saw this year that I got my, um, ooh, I got my um, thingy set. What do you call it? The um, Ewok Village, and it's been my favourite set that I've ever picked up ever. So I'm definitely gonna try and pick up some more like vintage play sets, and I've got like the big sand crawler behind me as well, and that, and that's a lot of fun. So I'm definitely thinking about grabbing some more sets like that. Uh, for review and stuff. All right, so here is the Emperor. Out of the packaging. Do it. Do it. <laughs> so this is the box, first of all. It, it opens up. This is really cool, by the way. It opens up. How cool is that? This is such a cool box. I'm almost going to feel bad opening this one. I've got to be so careful. All right, okay. Oh. Come on, gentle, gentle, gentle. Need the scissors. <clears throat> I'm going to feel safer if I cut it. Like that. Yeah. And then... Because that's only from the back, so peel that off from the back. Heck yeah! There we go. Okay, one. And then get that one off as well. Yeah! Okay. Salvage the set. <laughs> okay, so here is the like the diorama piece, which is awesome, by the way. Loving that, you'll see that on the desk cam in a few moments. There's a little drawer here at the front which pulls out to reveal all the accessories. So it comes with his cane, his old, the alternate hands for him. I'm actually going to take out the, the plastic inlay and then I'm going to pop the little drawer back in because I'm going to use that for my own stuff. For diorama building and stuff. So that, that, that can remain as is. But yeah, I'm taking that piece out. Oh, this looks so good actually. This is so cool. And it all folds back up as well. So you can just fold it all back together when you're done with it. Which is such a cool idea. I wish there were a way of keeping it together at the top, but it's such a cool concept. Okay, well, now we've got the Emperors. We've got these the, like diorama piece here. Oh, it's double sided as well. So you've got the double-sided version of this so you've got this side which is like all the ships and things you can't really see that it's going to go very dark on the camera but like there's like ships fighting and stuff in space like a proper space battle going on but then you can change it change it to just the void of space if you if you undo these little thingies you can pull this out and rearrange it so it's the opposite side so you've got the either the battle going on or just a like void of space sort of thing going on that's cool but how does that slot to... Does it just stand in front of it then? Do I just stand that there? 
Okay, then I've got my Emperor. So let's get the Emperor out. And he comes on his little chair. So this is like a, almost a remake, or it, it's, in fact it is a remake of the Black Series one, isn't it? It looks identical, just shrunken down. Yeah, it even looks, the, the throw and everything all looks the slight, like he did for the Black Series. So here is our Emperor out of the packaging, which is nice. The hood is actually plastic on this, by the way, interestingly. So there, the camera's gonna really struggle with this because it's dark. There we go. So there's the face sculpt. I'll show you guys on the desk cam. I think that'll be easier. But yeah, he's got a, he's got a plastic hood, which can be removed to reveal the emperor's face. Uh, his arms do lift up this side hinge. Do also rotate. There's a elbow hinge there, I believe. Let me just rotate this around. Let me do a little, let's have a look. Right. Oh, we got so we got the single hinged elbow there as well, and hands are on a ball joint. We've got a plastic piece under there, under there, and then this part here. His legs do lift out, but only as much as the cape piece will allow. If I lift that up, we can see that his legs move forward with a single hinged knee there, and the feet. Feet are actually pretty static, to be honest. There is a little bit of give there, but not much, and there's rotation in the knees. Three inches where it all started for me. That's where I actually started collecting. It was obviously Star Wars three inch uh, when I started this channel all them years ago. It was three inch figures that kicked off this channel. So he doesn't come with his red blade for his saber though, which is a shame. But it does come with a static um, lightsaber handle there for the uh, figure, and he does come with his walking stick, and he does come with the alternate hands to change him to lightning. So that's pretty cool as well. I'm going to take those out. There's his little walking stick. He's got his two force lightning hands, which look to be the same hands that we had with like the five POA um, figure. And then his lightsaber hilt handle. Just to give you guys a little show, let's just remove this hand and shove the, the lightning hand in there. So that's what it kind of looks like when you put the lightning in hand. Why is that elbow not moving? I think I've got a seized elbow here. There we go. So that's what it looks like when he does the lightning. <laughs> then you will die. <laughs> Very cool. Your friends will fail. <laughs> I do love the Emperor. Guys, let's head on down to the desk cam so you guys can get an up close personal look at this Emperor figure. So let's head on down to the desk cam. Ah! One thing I've got to go back and check on at some point. Did the Emperor's feet ever touch the floor in the film? Because <laughs> every time I get one of these figures, the feet always end up like four feet off the ground. Is the Emperor really small? <laughs> Either way, this is an amazing set, and I can't believe we're so lucky to have this sent to us from Hasbro. So, once again, I've just got to say thank you very much, Hasbro, for sending this through. I really appreciate it. I cannot believe that we've received this set. I really can't. It's amazing. I'm loving the fact that we can fold this up so you can have it displayed like that, uh, which is equally as awesome. Or we can un let it unfold and have the, um, the full sort of... Uh, you know, corridor scene kind of unveiled. It's great for photography as well. I've still got the box for the Thrawn set as well, which is very much like this, like a playset kind of thing. 
I think Hasbro should do more of this with the boxes. <coughs> <coughs> as well, so I understand it is only cardboard. It is amazing that we get like a little playset almost made out of cardboard. Because that's back in the day we, when we were kids, we didn't care that, that all the playsets we got were basically made out of this. This was what kind of what you would have gotten just a bunch of flimsy cardboard and a few plastic pieces to plop in. So for me, this is very nostalgic getting something like this. Let me just remove the cam from my tripod here, and let's move in closer to the Emperor. You and your friends. <laughs> You've got to love the Emperor, man. He's one of my favourite characters. Why is he smiling? Why have they given him a grin? I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Taking over the galaxy. Can't touch the floor. Kind of small. <laughs> But yeah, I'm loving this uh, little playset piece. It looks so good. It's well put together. And like I said, we've got like a little drawer here that I can pop in accessories and bits. So I like that as well. And yeah, just overall, guys, I'm loving it so much. Such a great piece. But what are your thoughts on this Emperor, guys? Are you going to be picking one of these sets up for your vintage collection? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Let's head on back to the main cam, though, and finish off this video. Do it. So, guys, if you are new around here and you did enjoy this video today, then please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And subscribing does really support us. It really helps out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. Thank you very much, Hasbro, once again, for sending this through to us completely free of charge for review purposes. I do really appreciate it. And thanks to each and every single one of you for subscribing and supporting this channel over the years that have allowed us to have opportunities like this. So thank you to you guys, the watchers, and the fans. Guys, as always, I'm your host, Supsoral. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, may the force be with you. Bye! Sorry, Bob, I'm still getting used to my program! We do hope you enjoyed your tour de and will come back soon. <laughs>